Welcome back guys to another video and this is going to be a last day of testing awesome miner with mining pull hop against nice hash and it's going to end today because I just feel like I'm throwing more and more money away every single day by mining with mining pull hop and you're going to see that when I show you the final results so I was mining for three days with, uh, with five GTX 1063 Obed versions, three GTX 180s and half a day of mining every day with GTX 180 Ti. And you can see that I already exchanged some coins into Bitcoin and I left almost all of the coins in their original form. So I left all of those coins because they were outperforming Bitcoin by like 10 or 15% every single day now when this uh, bull market was happening. And uh, if that wouldn't happen, if the Bitcoin would go up faster than those coins or with the same rate, I would lose even more and more money. So to see those results, I made this little chart right here. And you can see that at the end of a day three of testing, I got $27.04 mining with mining pool hop. And if I would just stay it with nice hash, I would get $36.09. So this is almost $10 difference. And this is a huge amount. This is almost like 30% difference with mining with mining pool hop against nice hash. And the reason why Nicehash is so good and why not even one other software can beat it, like you have seen, I already tested with Vidminer, with Minergate and with few others and Nicehash always wins. And that is because Nicehash has a really special way of uh, paying you out. Because when you see those uh, huge spikes that happen, for example, you are mining $2 and then suddenly it jumps to $10. And of course this thing is also happening on mining pool hops sometimes but you don't actually get paid $10 per day if your GPU jumps to $10 per day. You actually get paid when, that, when they decide to exchange that coin for Bitcoins. And if that takes them, for example, like one or two hours to exchange that coin and to pay you back in Bitcoin, then that coin could be worth $2 again instead of $10 per day for mining but NiceHash pays you per share so if you find one share every minute and you mine ten dollars per day you're getting paid at that rate of ten dollars per day every single minute and that is why not even one software can come close and of course I'm going to test with few other pools later on but I don't want to do it right now because it feels like I'm just throwing money away so some other pools that I can test with, uh, you can see them right here. I can do it on Z-Pool, but I already did that and nice hash was a lot better. And then I have Ohash Pool, Hash Refinery, Zerg Pool, Mining Gooch, which I hear is pretty good, uh, Blaze Pool and Block Masters. So I could do all those tests uh, one day per each pool and maybe like one day of mining on every single pool a little bit or something like that. But I don't think the there is a need to do this because nice hash will most likely win again and there is a lot more work to uh, and there is a little bit more work to mine on those pools than just leave nice hash on and by now I really feel comfortable with nice hash even though sometimes algorithm switching is giving us problems and maybe sometimes it is not mining the most profitable thing that it could but still it is the most profitable software overall so thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you get maybe better results with mining pool hub than with nice hash or something like that. And see you soon in another video. Bye.